Okay, we're going to talk about option Greeks, Delta, Gamma, Theta, and Vega. Let me show you where they are on Think or Swim. Uh, on Think or Swim, here's Delta, here's Gamma, here's Theta, and here's Vega. So, if you're interested in training on the line, for this example, we're going to use um, Nef we're going to use Netflix and FLX. Uh, as for September second, it closed at one hundred thirty-eight dollars. And uh, for this example purposes, we're going to use the September 140 call option. The September uh, September 140 call option, which is trading at 470, um, 475. Okay. So the maximum our maximum risk on this option is 400 475 hours. The maximum you can lose is the cost of the contract. Uh, so. Uh, basically what happens, let's say Netflix goes up a dollar, $239, now the Delta, which is 46 so for every dollar up or down move on Netflix, it's going to cause your option another option to go up or down $46. $46. Okay, Gamma now. Gamma is the rate of change of Delta. If Netflix goes up or down a dollar, I'm sorry, if Netflix goes up or down a dollar, Delta will move an additional $3. So basically what it's saying is, um, if Netflix goes up to 139, it will cause Delta from 139 to 140, the Delta will actually change to 49. So f it's, a, it's a rate of change of, de rate of, change of Delta. So, but, um, Okay, now let's get to theta. So theta is saying the measure of rate of decline in the value of the option due to the passage of time. So basically what that is, uh, for every day you hold the option, you're going to lose $18, uh, $18 over here. So if you're holding over the weekend, three-day weekend, you're going to lose 18 times um, eighteen times three or 18 times two if it's just a two-day weekend. And uh, what that is, it's, um, it's the rate of change on volatility. Volatility on the underlying moves up or down 1%. It'll cause... The option to lose or gain eleven gain or lose or gain eleven dollars. So there you go.